Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial for the Vivian dress or any other dress. I'm going to show you how to make a short sleeve with a little elastication along the edge here. And I have got an unlined version and a lined version which is a little bit more elasticated and um, that is my favorite way of doing it. Anyway, you need to cut out your pattern first and we have a wonderful big scoop in there to make it sit really nicely along the front. Make sure you mark the front because the front is cut away a lot more so if you put them in the wrong way it will sit really horribly. Here we've got the area that you can gather. You could just leave it as well but I like a little bit of that tucked in feel and I'm just using a slender elastic and we don't need to worry about the length at all really. We have the sleeve head to mark, the bit where we elasticate and stop and of course the front and I just use little snips like that to mark it. The first thing to do is to put the lining right sides facing onto the sleeve and then we're going to sew along the hem and next we're going to cut it back. I'm sorry that the footage uh, is unusable so you can't see the sewing. I had forgot to turn my LED lights off my GoPro so <laughs> hmm, this sort of thing happens. The next thing you want to do is to mark where your elastication starts and I've got an invisible pen that disappears with the air. It's like an air erasable so don't use a proper marker. Um, I know you won't but I just thought I'd say it you know. Uh, there you go it's a disappearing pen and then I snip my sleeve and I also want to under stitch it so close to the edge all the way along and when that's done it gives you that really firm edge here that turns in really easily and then I can press that and make it look all pristine and you could actually be done there and say well actually I put this around my arm and it fits me fine. Um, my arm is quite big so for me it was almost enough I just needed slight elastication. Now we're going to do a tunnel one centimeter away from the edge from mark to mark and with that done I can put the elastic in so don't make it like smaller than a centimeter here from the edge because you're never going to get that safety pin through um, or you have to buy yourself a small safety pin anyway I thread it all the way through to the other end just pull it through and then just leave it hanging for a bit take your safety pin out and next we are going to sew down one side to just secure it and there you go I've done that and then I work out how much I want it elasticated regardless of what the pattern says because little 14 year old or 15 year old will have much skinnier arms probably than we do so overlap the seam and actually put it onto the top of your arm to see what's okay and for me actually that's very little elastication for a little wee little girl it might be a little bit more so that's something to test out then we're going to sew down the other side secure the elastic and box your ankle basically done that is a really nice way to create a beautiful sleeve that looks very professional so we are now going to close the underarm seam straight across in one go there we go snip either side cut back your seam allowance so we have no tension on it and then we're ready to iron this little seam apart so put it on your ironing board or cross it and then we can fold the lining on top of the outer fabric and we give it another press and that's really really nice love these little sleeves now we're going to sew all the way around the edge very close to the edge really because it's just a holding stitch all the way around and when that is done from side to side I'm gonna put I like a gather thread in but obviously we're not going to gather it this is not a gathered sleeve but we're going to hold it in so it needs easing in the easiest way to get this done is to pull the thread a little bit so we're getting a round top and then this round top is going to be steamed in really well and that makes sewing it in a lot easier 
put it on your ironing board and just steam it up. And that gives you really beautiful finish. And all you have to do then with your little sleeve is to put it into the dress. And we're back to Bob's standard technique here. Now, we can also do it unlined and I'm going to show you quickly how that works. So I've got my sleeve here and I want to overlock the lower edge first and then I take my marker again and I'm marking where I've got my elastication and again it is almost negligent the elastication for a big arm like mine smaller arm you need more and then I take my elastic and that's going to be cased in here so the next decision is really how much do you want it to be elasticated put it over your arm and check it and um, if you are a grown-up lady like myself you probably won't need very much at all so uh, once you've decided the right length for your arm Good thing would also be to just measure around and see how that corresponds to this teenage sleeve but you making two sleeves and unlike the other option where you can actually adjust it really easy you can't do that here so what you want to do is cut them both the same length and not only that you need to take this marker again and mark the bit where you're going to start and end so that you don't end up with two different sleeves that would be really heartbreaking because you got a row of zigzag stitching over here to get your elastic in and then another row of stitching to hold it so once you're done and you've got this like that all marked you can go to the sewing machine get that triple zigzag stitch for elastication and just elasticate it all the way on and here you see why I got rid of all the footage. I had those two LED lights on and you can hardly see anything. But point is I stretch it all on. And that's basically it here. Then uh, with that done, I can cut back my elastic as well. I don't need it to stand up anymore. Um, it's really secure in there. Now the next step is to close the underarm seam. Now all we do is turn it in and stitch it through again. And although it's really bad footage, I'm still putting this in. So it's turned over. You need to find a line up point on your presser foot and then just really tightly in, stitch all the way around. It is an easy method, but, um, and I wish I could have shown you better, but all this lovely footage looked like that. So it's only these two little bits that I dare show you because they're horrible. Oh dear. Anyway, that is how you do the sleeve. This has just very little elastication in it, but it keeps it from just flopping up and that's also very nice. So two sleeves, one lined and one unlined. You can elasticate more or less, just how you like, and then you put the sleeve in. And thank you again for watching the sewing workshop and the Frogs and Frolics YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.